Creations, I'm going to show you how to make a cute DIY bracelet. Now, it's cheap and easy, and you can give it a totally different look depending on what beads you choose. And it's a great DIY gift idea, or even for yourself. And I'd love you all to please subscribe to my channel as I post a video every Friday around 3 o'clock. So, let's get started! Things you will need to make this bracelet are a clasp, some beads, some smaller beads, clear fishing line, a soft mat like a beading mat, face cloth, or even your carpet, and some scissors. First with your working surface, you're going to want to grab your fishing line and scissors and cut off a piece of strand about six times the length you want your bracelet to be. Then place your larger beads on one side of the mat and place your smaller beads at the other side of the mat. Now you're going to want to attach your clasp. To do this, grab your string and take the two ends and hold them together in place. Then place those strings through one of the ends of your clasp. Before you pull all the way through, you will notice a hoop. Take those two ends you are holding onto and place them back in through the hoop to form your knot. Next, you are going to want to grab one of your small beads and put them onto both ends of the string, pulling all the way through. Next, you are going to need to do a little bit of simple math. Place your large braid in front of you on your working surface and your small bead beside it. You want your small beads to be the same length as one of your large beads. Place more beads if needed. Two small beads are the same size of one of my large beads, so I will be using two small beads each time I use them. Next, place your amount of small beads onto one of the strands and pull all the way through. Now, place the amount of small beads on the other strand and pull all the way through. Now to keep them in place, you're going to take one string and place it through one of your large beads. Then take your other string and place it through the same large bead in the opposite direction. Next, continue this process until you have reached your bracelet's desired length, adding your amount of small beads to each strand and crossing both through the larger bead. Now that you're at your desired length, you're going to want to finish it off by how we started. Add your amount of small beads to each end. Then place one more small bead on both of your strands. And finally, you're going to want to tie your strings to the other end of the clasp. To do this, place one of the strands through the end of the clasp and then cross over the right string over the left and wrap it around it twice. Do the scan by crossing the right over the left and wrapping around it twice. And lastly, place the two strands back into the last bead. Then with your scissors, trim off the excess string. If you wish, you can apply some beading glue to the knot to make it stronger, and you're done. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and leave any comments or questions below you may have. 
as well as I post a video every Friday around 3 o'clock. See you then. Bye.